A new era began in 1983. Bill Coben was chosen to set the troubled station back on course. We needed at that time a very strong leadership. He was a strong and robust and sometimes controversial champion of public affairs. On the flight, on the way out here, I read a bunch of press clippings, and they were a pretty negative bunch of clippings. So when I got off the plane and came to L.A., I expected a very cold reception. I, I figured that uh, uh, I would be identified with some of these negative feelings. And what I found out, much to my surprise, was uh, exactly the opposite. It was the warmest welcome. I think the thing I, I loved about Bill was that he set a vision. He kept his hands far enough away that you felt supported, but never that his fingers were in the pie. He brought in Stephen Kozicki, this young Turk out of Minneapolis who uh, had great ideals about programming. And he started programming the station and the ratings just soared. We were kind of trying to figure out what the next steps to go forward were, how to uh, recapture the imagination of people in Los Angeles and in the world of public television about what that station could do and might do and should do. Some of the programs that, that Stephen uh, developed were, first of all, <laughs> it was an amusing program, uh, Penn and Teller. It's Penn and Teller! Go public? Yeah, pick it up. Boom, you got it, you got it, pick it up. Is that your card? Yeah! <laughs> I'm just, that's fine, we'll just do an edit. Just, just keep going. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just match up and do an edit. Let's just, oh, let me chuck this in for you so it matches the last shot, good. Let me just move this around a little bit, and then we'll take it, Cordelia, we'll take it from me, just moving the cards around. Okay, go ahead, oh, and pick it up, pick it up. Is that your card, the seven of clubs, sir? No. Oh, that's fine, we can just, we can just keep going. I'll just, we'll match it from right here, okay? Ah! Is that your card, sir? The Eight of Diamonds. Bill Coben also ushered in an era of vibrant local and national productions. Well, Stephen and I, <clears throat> from the moment both of us arrived here, wanted to do some kind of nightly, nightly program. It was a way to look at culture, a way to see parts of the city that um, you might not have made the, the effort to go see, but television made it easier. And conversations were pretty intense about what the state of the world was at the time and what the next steps in the future might be. If you are within reach of this program, you have probably smelled the smoke from our burning city. You have probably driven home on its empty streets and freeways. And you know that what is going on is an earthquake of sorts, a social upheaval of an immense magnitude. The whole world is indeed... The creation of Life and Times a few weeks before the Los Angeles riots happened um, created an amazing sense of relevance for the idea of what that Life and Times project was about. It was to bring communities together that hadn't been talking to each other and create a space in which people might look at the world they lived in a little differently. This is not the same Los Angeles we woke up to on Wednesday, April 29th. That Los Angeles is gone, if it ever really existed. We were standing at the gates of KCET on Sunset Boulevard looking across to the Circuit City as people were looting the Circuit City. It was both the most exciting bit of news coverage I've ever done and the most daunting because it was a very complicated story. Life and Times became a conduit. It became a town hall, literally and figuratively, for people to come in and try to hash this out. L.A. was scared of itself at that point. The riots gave us an opportunity to be a window in communities that historically didn't have coverage. Exactly. Today. So we gave viewers an opportunity to see what was going on countywide, and nobody else did it back then, and nobody else, frankly, does it now. There must be a very significant aspect that would include ownership by African Americans. They have all kinds of payments. They have no food. They have no place to sleep. We need to make it simple for people to rebuild. We need to get... It was so, so strange compared to what we see today on TV. The bitter partisanship, the sensational shouting matches that occur. We actually spoke to one another. And we respected each other's perspectives. We didn't agree a lot on the issues or our positions, but we had respectful disagreement, and I thought it was eclectic. I wouldn't call it strange, but I thought it was must-see eclectic TV. They were a hit from the very beginning. The show really took off, and uh, as uh, you may recall, it ran for nearly 15 years.